Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Hello, and welcome to Good Job, your career development channel. We are here because career development is a lifelong process. We have a new video for you today, and the title of today's video is you can pick your nose or go from resume to work. Now, in this video, you will actually see President Obama pick his nose several times. However, however, he does tell of an inspirational story about Lashana Lewis, who couldn't get a tech job because she didn't have a degree. He talks about how Lashana went from resume to work to get the tech job that she always wanted. Now, after the video, I'm going to give you some tips from the actual book from resume to work so that you can be your own inspirational story as well. Now, before we take a look at the video, what I want to tell you is that good job has a subscriber challenge going on that every one of our first 1,000 subscribers will receive a bunch of career development tools that you can get for free that can help you in areas such as getting a great job earning extra income growing your business or finding a work-life balance and once we meet our 1,000 subscriber challenge one of you will get a hundred dollar Amazon gift card that you can use in any way in your own career development process so be sure to click the subscribe button and make sure you click that bell next to the subscribe button so that you can be notified about our new videos as they come out whenever we meet our 1000 subscriber challenge and when we're ready to give one of you um, lucky persons the $100 Amazon gift card. So thank you very much. And now let's take a look at the video. Finally, we're launching a hundred million dollar competition for innovative ideas to train and employ people who are underrepresented in tech. Uh, at, a time when, at a time when we all lead digital lives, anybody who has the drive and the will to get into this field should have a way to do so, a pathway to do so. So my administration is committed to this initiative. We've got a lot of private and nonprofit sectors leading the way. We want to get more on board. But ultimately, success is going to rest on folks like you, on mayors, council members, local leaders, because you've got the power to bring your communities together and seize this incredible economic development opportunity that could change the way we think about training and hiring the workers of tomorrow. And the good news is these workers may emerge from the unlikeliest places. So l l let me wrap up with just the example of one person, uh, a, a woman named Lashana Lewis. Where's Lashana? She's here today. I hear she was here. There she is over there. There's Lashana. Now, now the, the reason Lashana's story is so relevant is L Lashana grew up in East St. Louis. She had a passion for computers, but because of circumstances, constraints, she wasn't born with a silver spoon in her mouth. Uh, she wasn't able to get a college degree. And because she didn't have a college degree, she couldn't even get an interview for a tech job, despite her coding skills. So she was working as a bus driver. And she was working in entry-level jobs. But Lashana apparently is a stubborn person, <laughs> which is good. Sometimes you need to be stubborn. So. So she refused to give up on her dream, and she used her free time to teach herself new computer skills. And she started going to a coding meetup that was run by Launch Code, which is a non-for-profit that finds talented people across St. Louis and gives them the training and credibility for the tech jobs employers are desperately needing to fill in uh, as, as we speak. So Lashana had the skills. Launch Code went to bat for her. And today, she's a system engineer at MasterCard. Now, now Lashana, it's a great story, but, but understand this. MasterCard wants to hire more folks like Lashana. Moreover, 40% of Launch Code's first class came in unemployed. 90% of its graduates were hired full-time with an average starting salary of $50,000 a year. 
So, so that's, what's, that, that's what's already happening, but it's happening at a small scale. And what we need to do is expand it. And we are back. Now, I don't know if this is just Obama, but I think that he's the only person that can look cool while picking his nose. Now, did you hear in the video that President Obama said Lashana couldn't get a tech job because she didn't have a degree? Now, that is a uh, common occurrence because if you don't have a formal education or you have the wrong education, you can absolutely get passed up for a job. And it's not just a job. If you're in your own business and you don't have the right skill set, but you're trying to get customers, you can quickly lose customers if you don't have the right skill set. Like if you don't have a Microsoft certification or QuickBooks or whatever training that you have. However, let me share you some strategies found in this book from Resume to Work. And now it talks about, among other things, updating your resume using online education. And in one example, um, it showed how Becky went to edX.org. This is kind of an online place where you can get education. She took online classes and then she updated her resume immediately and landed a job from an employer whose alma mater was one of the schools that Becky was taking classes from. Now, From Resume to Work has many examples like this and you should get the book. Now, let me share with you some quotes from the book. In the first quote, it says, employers like seeing relevant education or training on the applicant's resume because it signals to them that A, you can set and initiate goals, B, you have established a sense of purpose in your career, and C, you have the ability to start and finish tasks for those tasks you have completed. And in another quote, it says, so online learning is an excellent tool to help you show your next employer that you are present in the job market. Now, if you want to see more, I put a link in the book from Resume at Work in the description section below. Um, there are other career development resources there for you as well, so I encourage you to check it out. Okay, so that's it today for the video and the tip. Um, and I want to let you know that this is from the book from Resume to Work, so go ahead and get your own copy. All right. So I just want to say thank you for today and I would like to remind you not to forget to go ahead and subscribe. Um, if you do subscribe, also if you like this video, just give it a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind. And don't forget that we have our 1000 subscriber challenge that once we hit our 1000 subscribers, we will give away a lot of free career development tool. And one of you, remember, is going to get a, um, will get a $100 Amazon gift card for us saying thank you. Also too, make sure you click that bell because that will notify you um, about our new videos and it will tell you when we reach our 1000 subscribers and how one of you can get the Amazon gift gift card. Now this is good job. We're here because career development is a lifelong process. Thanks and have a great day.